At such a young age, a Vancouver Film School student's decision to take on 12 student films allowed him to discover his true calling while quickly learning the intricate process of cinematography. Hi, I'm Janessa O'Hearn and welcome to The Blast Light. So my final project was just a, it was about a minute and a half, what you would call a cinematography demo reel. Just showcasing my favorite or what I think were best shots, whether it was with lighting, composition, or even just getting lucky sometimes. If you want to simplify it, you can say that the director is the one who says, okay, I would like to have Jack Nicholson sitting there with a backlight and move in slowly on him for this moment. The DOP takes that information, that creative comments, and he basically technically interprets um, what the director's vision is and is responsible for everything when it comes to lighting and uh, camera and lenses and all of those things. So he's the technical doer. I was uh, definitely really interested in directing at first, um, but as we got into more of the filmmaking and heavy, and, like intense, like doing stuff on set, I knew operating the camera and lighting a scene a certain way is what I was most concerned about, whereas other people would be more interested in maybe editing or directing an actor in a certain way. It was a steep learning curve that would eventually pay off in a big way. I think Sam's biggest challenge for his final was simply that uh, he was taking on so many projects. And it's a lot to put your head into because, you know, one film is enough. And there's so many things you have to keep in mind, like trying to keep the axis and not throwing off the viewer with what you do and not having shadows everywhere, the way you light things. I think everybody pushes each other. You always end up trying to get a good piece of art and it's hard, but it's fun. Really, it's just a marathon physically to be able to get through all of those productions because we do four solid weeks of production for Foundation. And, uh, and he was busy on you know, all the shows, right, from beginning to end. By taking on a project of this magnitude, Sam had a huge amount of work ahead of him. As he attempted the unimaginable for a Foundation student, the reality of his decision would set in. Foundation is a program that kind of lays a bunch of things in front of your feet and you kind of, you know, fill that one out, fill that one out, and you kind of move through and, and gravitate towards what your interests are, but by the end of the year most people are still kind of on the fence about certain things or, or maybe they have a lenience, but Sam I think right from the beginning knew that lighting and camera work was his, his thing. Shooting for three straight weeks and just learning all about the equipment and especially on set you run into so many problems and then after 12 films there's hundreds of problems that you now know how to deal with moving on into other films. So it was definitely a good experience. I saw it slowly develop and that was kind of neat. It wasn't like it just suddenly happened out of nowhere. I think that for a lot of the other, maybe other classmates or for, pe for people who came to the graduation for Foundation were like, wow, that, you know, that's really good. Even uh, one of our instructors here, Dave, who's known to be the ultimate critic, was really impressed with the lighting. So uh, Sam did well. I was really impressed with him. After this, well, I'll be entering the film production program and once again continuing hopefully to study cinematography and just shoot as much as I can and hopefully go a lot of different places, meet a lot of different people and have fun while doing it. There is little doubt that this up-and-comer will be going places. Paving the way for coming students, Sam's accomplishments will be remembered by all involved in his journey as he continues to make a name for himself, not only here at VFS, but in the entertainment industry as well. I'm Janessa O'Hearn. Thanks for watching The Blast Light.